now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Hope comes, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women to protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace, available on e-readers everywhere. Recently here in New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio said that he was getting ready to outline a proposal to revamp the homeless system. However, after listening to the details of his plan to revamp the homeless system to help people who are homeless find housing, I can clearly see that this is just not going to work. Now, when I listen to Mayor Bill de Blasio's plan, he says he's going to close up a whole bunch of hotels where the city has been housing people, and he's going to open up 90 more new shelters. As I see it, the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing and expecting a different result. One of the big problems with many people's homeless plans, like Bill de Blasio, is that they're only focused on shelters and temporary housing, not on a long-term plan towards building affordable housing. And building affordable housing is one of the core issues that is leading to a lot of the homelessness here in New York. One of the big problems we've had in New York with this whole gentrification thing is that We've had a whole bunch of landlords raising rents to sky-high prices that most working-class New Yorkers just can't afford. And that's one of the big things that's leading to this rise and increase in homelessness. Many of the homeless that are out here right now, many of them actually do have jobs and are working, but they just cannot afford these expensive market rents that continue to get higher and higher because so many people say they want to live here, but most people's wages just can't support it in New York City's job market. And that's one of the core issues that's leading to most of the homelessness today. Most of the jobs here in New York City just do not pay enough for someone to live off of. And building more shelters does not help the homeless crisis on that end. What's going to help is we have to do something about things regarding the job market because New York's job market is one of the worst in the United States. It's just a place where you have a lot of minimum wage jobs and low wage jobs, but you don't have a lot of jobs that can allow someone to sustain themselves and pretty much live comfortably here in the city because most of these jobs like Starbucks and Target and many of these other retail businesses, these jobs only pay about maybe nine, ten dollars an hour and they're part-time so they just don't pay enough and even many of the city jobs like civil service jobs they only pay like forty forty five thousand dollars a year and if the rents are twenty five hundred dollars a month or fifteen hundred dollars a month that takes a good thirty three four or forty five percent of someone's salary depending on how much they make so that's not going building more shelters doesn't help anything when your economy just is not in a place where it can sustain um, the residents who live there because the residents have to be paid a wage that enables them to pretty much be able to live well and be able to commute back and forth to work and be able to feed themselves. And you can't really do that here in New York when you have to pay 33 to 45 to even 50 percent of your income in rent for an apartment here in New York City. New York City's rents are some of the highest in the country, and that's something your mayor, Bill de Blasio, never addresses regarding this homeless situation. The other issue that Bill de Blasio does not address regarding the homeless situation is mental health. Now, mental health is a big component leading to many people winding up in shelters and leading to many shelters being unsafe. And I did not hear one single word from Bill de Blasio talking about mental health because mental health is the re is is a big issue and it's the it's like the one thing that most politicians won't touch because one of the re again one of the reasons why so many people are homeless and on the streets these days is because of mental health issues and some of these mental health issues are due to drug use some of them are due to trauma from being vet veterans in wars such as um, the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq, again, our veterans are not being cared for the way that previous generations like World War II veterans were cared for. 
we've pretty much left veterans out in the streets. And that's one of the big issues that, again, your Democratic politicians don't want to touch, is many of these veterans being left out here. And the other issue we really don't want to deal with regarding with mental health is that a lot of people don't want to deal with the whole idea of trying to get people with mental health issues, you know, counseling and support and things like that, because we have to deal with what's leading to people winding up being on the streets and dealing with the preventative issues rather than trying to go out here and build more shelters, because all shelters do is provide a temporary place, but it does not lead to a person getting to a place where they can pretty much move forward with, with their lives. And when I look at Bill de Blasio's whole plan regarding homelessness, I don't see anything constructive towards moving people ahead. Because when I was working with AmeriCorps Vista, with the Strive Job Readiness Program, we, I was trying to help them increase their resources towards bringing homeless adults into their job readiness program. And if, the, if people do not have, you know, stable employment and their mental health is not being taken care of, you're not really going to deal with the whole homeless issue in a constructive manner. Because these are two components that are essential towards helping someone transition from shelters back to a semblance of a normal life. Because a person has to have stable employment that plays a decent wage if they're going to get out of the shelter system. Moreover, they're going to need a decent wage if they're going to stay, you know, stable. Because it's that stability that's going to keep that person from falling back into the system Moreover, it's also, when you're on the mental health side, when you deal with the mental health issues that people have, that's going to help them get stable as well. And these are two components that, again, were not a part of the whole Bill de Blasio um, plan to reform the homeless system. If you don't deal with mental health, if you don't deal with helping people in, get stable employment, you're never going to deal with this homeless situation constructively. Building more shelters only leads to a vicious cycle of people um, cycling through the shelter systems again and again, and the city paying f five to ten times more money than this person would be if you were to transition them out. Because if you transition that person out, guess what you're going to do? That person is going to start paying taxes into the system, not costing the system money. And this is what is really sad about this whole Bill de Blasio homeless um, reform, is that he's pretty much going in a circle instead of trying to move ahead. You really need, again, you really need to focus on those two components, which is getting people employment that pays a living wage, talking to employers about tax breaks and things like that to give them incentive to raise wages to a construct to a higher level. And you also have to talk to these landlords about this whole gentrification thing, because if you are building more luxury housing than the market can bear, you're not going to have tax-paying citizens to be a tax base because if your rents are 2500 3500 um 1500 for a studio guess what there's not going to be a tax base in new york city that's going to be able to pay taxes and be a base for everything because that's one of the disadvantages of gentrification as i as i see it or so-called gentrification um you have people raising rents raising um, thing, uh, raising rents and stuff, and the job market is just not sustaining it. The business infrastructure is not sustaining it. And then you're, you're going to wind up with working class people who are just working in the shelter system. And that's not good for your economy because then these people are on government programs and they're not paying taxes really constructive to the system. So I look at this whole Bill de Blasio's reforms and again, they just don't work. They're just more of the same. And it's doing the exact same thing. It's just going to lead to the, to the to, it's not going to lead to a different result. It's going to lead to more of the same problems. And building, trying to propose more shelters is just going to lead to more people saying, not in my backyard. But you want to get people, all those homeless people, what you really want to do, again, is get their employment stable, get their mental health stable, and start making efforts to transition them out of the shelter system and back into housing. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.